Okay, this program you are going to enter the amount of tickets that you want to buy. You're going to click on buy and then it's going to display the amount owed by the person. Okay. We are going to use real values in this program. I declare three R total for the total amount owed, R price for the price of the tickets, and I made a real variable R tickets for the amount of tickets that is going to be bought okay so the user is going to enter it into the edit box and when he clicks on the button i'm going to take the value that the user entered i'm going to convert it from a string to a float which is uh, real i'm going to convert it from a string to a float and save it into our tickets okay then i'm going to say all tickets multiply all price and I assigned values, values for price, tickets, and total under form create. Okay, so when the program starts, our total will be zero, our tickets will start with zero, but our price will be 50 for 50 rand. So it's going to say, let's say the user enters four in the edit box, it's going to say four multiply by 50, and it's going to save that value answer, the 200 in our total. Okay, then to display the answer, I want to display it in label 2, the caption of label 2. I'm going to say float to string. So currently this is a float, so I want to convert it over to a string, because caption is a string, to display it in my label. So let's enter the 4 in the edit box. Click on buy and it's going to show 200. At the moment it's not going to display as a currency and it's not going to display the decimal values. Okay, so let's fix that one. So I'm going to comment out this line. I'm going to first make this one fixed. If they're fixed. So I'm going to say take this R total, convert it from a flow to string, but add this F. If you add this F, you can add additional parameters to this function, the convert function. So now you can say if a fixed six positions can be used and it must be two decimal values. Well, let's have a look at the output. So now it's going to show 200 and then the decimal values will be two, two zeros. If we change the fixed to currency, you can display this value as a currency value in your label. So you either have the option for fixed or currency. We are working with money, so I want to display this currency. It will take the default settings of or the current settings of your computer. So if your computer is set to dollars, it might show in dollars. Mine is set to rand, so it will display as rand. So it's 200 rand, two decimal values and six positions.